some sad news this folks morning uh rpg veteran legend and not just rpgs but but video games also janelle jacques uh passed away at the age of 68 from gillian bar syndrome uh i had heard that uh janelle was ill i had hoped that that she'd be able to to bounce back uh, it's one of those personalities that I would have loved to have had on the show. Um, it's it's truly sad news. I'm going to link up the article real quick here and just, just skim it with you guys. This comes to us from Ian World. But before I get into that, of course, I want to remind you, as always, this video is brought to you by our friends at Hellebard Games. Hellebard makes the kind of adventures they'd like to play, whether it's for Castles and Crusades, for... 5th edition D&D or for the OSR old school is in play at the table with Hellebard games and you can find them at drive through RPG or on their website hellebardgames.com so let's take a look at this here's the article on EN World and I'm going to talk just a little bit about my enjoyment and appreciation of of uh, Janelle's work um and I, I will link to the article below. Now, this is one of those things that just kind of you you don't you don't really think about it until you sit down and you make the connection. This is someone who worked on Quake. Yeah, so if you've ever played the original Quake, that lovely Lovecraftian unsettling shooter from from uh, ID Software. Janelle worked on it, and there were so many other pieces uh, and, and projects. Of course, we did a deep dive of Dark Tower on this very channel, which is a massive, massive dungeon crawl um, from, uh, uh, gosh, it, it may even predate Advanced D&D. I think it does. I, I think we figured out that it slightly predated advanced Dungeons and Dragons, and that of course came from Judges Guild back in the day. And um, you know, it's it's just just such a phenomenal little adventure. We had a lot of fun reading it. Um, my experience with Janelle's work uh, actually goes back to uh, deities and demigods all those beautiful illustrations well i should say most i think there's one or two larger pieces in the uh the nuon mythos in deities and demigods um that were uh not done by janelle but the majority of the pieces the thumbnail illos of fawford and mouser and so many other characters from from those books were done by Janelle and I I always loved them uh you know just the the crowded views of city streets and cramped alleyways and so on even in the smaller pictures uh it was lovely so truly a multi-talented individual and there's uh for example here uh I mean take that in that is absolutely gorgeous the the illustration for dragon mountain I, i'm sorry i'm kind of meandering and not being very newsy but it's um well it's 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 just a shock it's 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 just it's such a you know it, it, it's such a, a a terrible terrible thing that that happened um and again that this is somebody i really would have liked it like on my to interview list for the show i mean i mean an industry giant so um and of course uh, you know a heart goes out to to janelle's family people who who knew janelle closely um i i'm i'm just at a loss for words today guys that is that is a shame. Uh, I love Janelle's work in 
D and D, the little bit of stuff that I I had from uh, from Judges Guild for Chanel was always enjoyable. And if you touched a mouse and played Quake, then you enjoyed that. But not not just that, not just that. But um, uh, Janelle worked on stuff uh, all the way back to the days of the ColecoVision, working on arcade ports of of classic video games. Um, so I, I'll I'll put it to you guys. Do you have any fond memories? Any any classic memories uh, of 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 playing any of those video games? Playing uh, just the multitude of of classic modules like Dark Tower or uh, you know going through deities and demigods and looking at the Lankmar stuff, um, you know anything like that? Please. Uh, share those comments below. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, and I know it's kind of an odd thing to say. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, obviously, no one likes getting news like this. Uh, you know, it, it's it's just a, a sad reminder that the, the, the true first generation of the creators for this hobby might not be with us that much longer i i hope we all live you know to be 120 years old and can enjoy this stuff into uh, the next century but I, I i don't think uh i don't think time is on our side in that respect um and this this is this is just just such a shame but again if there's something in particular that that you guys fondly remember by Janelle, uh, leave a comment below, and and tell what what was your favorite project. For me, it's kind of a tie, it, it, or, or or a three way tie. And I know I keep hammering on these, but they're my favorite ones. It's it's Quake. It's uh, it, it's uh, it, of course the Lankmar stuff, and Deities and Demigods, and Dark Tower. I am a recent fall in love with dark tower guy as we we did a deep dive on the show um but let me know what what you might have liked and um of course if you haven't already please do click the subscribe button click the bell icon for notifications hopefully the notifications will be positive um and again our our sincere thoughts and and wishes good wishes go out to janelle's friends and family um that this this is this is just a tragedy guys uh we'll be back later of course hopefully with good news and uh of course we'll be back later with live streams and such but until then have a great day and we'll see you around Peace.